Hopefully this does not crash. Welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. I know it has been a while. Today, we are out here in the Encondo Coast. Give you guys an idea of where I am. We're going to be gathering some lion meat out here. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a blast. To maximize the amount of lion meat that we're going to be getting, let's go ahead and get all geared up and buffed up. I still have my Tet Manos, my Manos accessories, but I am sporting a nice... Hen Manus Butcher Knife for this. I got my mir Miraculous Herbal Medicine so that when we go ahead and waste all of our energy, we can go ahead and regen all of it back and then still regen all of it back while we're wasting it all. It's going to be a, a fun little experience with that. All right, let's get all buffed up. The Dragon Wine, all of our usual buffs, Mercenary Life. Yeah, and then I got some energy potions just in case. You, you can never be too careful. Make sure I get my artifacts hedgehog yes pets gotta get my pets out all right we're gonna be doing this for two hours so get a nice little amount of money i'm not sure how much i'm gonna be able to make but i'm thinking probably around 600 mil so we're gonna try for around 600 mil i think oh yeah my crystals gotta make sure we get my Gathering crystals on, make sure they're all right. There we go. These are the crystals that I'm using, my crystal effects and all that. And here is my gathering mastery, if you guys want to see. I am so close. So close. And you know what? I do, I think I do have something to yet not that far away. Okay, we are gathering at 2000 gathering mastery it has definitely been a while since i've gone out and started butchering any type of lions i haven't really done any valencia meals recently i need to gather as many fairy breaths as i can because i am starting to get a corsair made for underwater gathering it's a long process but eventually i will i will get maybe maybe 300 i try to wait for at least 500 of the byproducts so that i can go ahead and turn them in for the experience i just want to bypass the artisan bracket and get straight on to master it just is going to require a lot of the byproducts which is fine you know i'm out here anyway hopefully i can get lucky and get a lot of the by byproducts with the mini game i doubt it though I've only gotten lucky twice with like a rare drop in the minigame. I do like the butchering minigame. It's easy, it's simple. You don't have to memorize anything like with the hoe gathering. Well, let's be real, I, I suck at it. I have to take a picture or I'm not going to remember all the patterns. I'm going to be digging up all the squares and then when I get all the correct ones, I still can't do it because, oh, I dug out all the other squares that I, po I didn't really need. I don't even think I'm going to need to pop my little miraculous energy pot. As much as I would love to, I don't think I'm going to need it. If I get lucky, I can get a wild ginseng or the millennial ginseng, whatever it is. I wouldn't ever dream of getting something like that. I know my luck in this game. It's like zero to none, but we're going to still hope for it. That's what we're going for. I don't want no dead old tree. I'm out here trying to gather meat and, and my shy is over there trying to gather some wood. Like, please stop. We do not want it. See, that's exactly why I'm doing the underwater gathering or getting my Corsair ready for underwater gathering. Those coral are, go are going for like some insane prices, especially when people buy out and raise the price up. That's what I'm going for. I'm just going to gather as much as I can and then save it all up until I see a price hike and then list as much as I, I can. But I'll waste all my Corsair's energy probably at like Waves Rest. As you know, the extra chance at the Coral Crystal and those Black Gem Fragments. So I blew up my Sailor cost not costume, my Mano Sailor's clothes. So I got to get a lot more of those gems. I got to do more more taps and i keep trying to build it up to try but it's it's failing i've done five try attempts and it keeps telling me to try harder 
It's horrible. Eventually I'll get it. Eventually I'll get it and then I'll try to do a, a TED attempt, but the way it's looking, I'm just going to keep it at a try and maybe pretend, you know, I, I want to TED later on down the line. And that's the whole reason why I, I destroyed it. I was trying for a TED attempt. I could do it. I've been like tapping Manos accessories the whole time. The game had other plans for me. I know, I like to dance in front of them too sometimes. When I'm feeling a little a little frisky, you know. It's not until the giant lions come out, OC, that that's that's when it becomes a problem. I've almost having the uh, back attacks done on me. I've had them bring me down to half health. I'm like you guys are no joke. I mean, granted, I know I'm like in the wrong for, for dancing around in front of them. But still, like, come on. I know I'm squishy and all, but they hit hard especially on a back attack just in gathering gear but i decided you know because the whole gathering mini game is gone like is active and i have this little baby right here ready I'm, I'm gonna go gather some lion meat see how much i can get within the the two hours and just see how much you know it makes we've done it at normal 16,000 gathering mastery or at least 14,000, I, I can't remember. It's been, oh man, it's been a while. So with that being said, we're out here again and we're gonna, we're gonna test to see how much I make with a higher amount. You know, <laughs> I came out here to the desert and I, I brought a dream, just not the correct dream for the, the situation. I brought out this guy, like the worst possible like combination, desert, sand, and a flaming horse. If I can get enough of those mini games, I will have to pop my marvelous potion for miraculous. So after after popping one of those things and doing some herb gathering out in bear, oh man, it was a dream. Let me tell you, we're sitting at 2,000 gathering mastery. I do got my pen gather butcher knife on, you know, my pen manos, and I have that mini game, especially the mini game. My dogs downstairs are, are having fun. One's barking in the other's face, to be honest with you. And that's all he's doing. All right, let's see how much meat we have. 3.5K. Oh yeah, no, it's made me want to come out here and do as much gathering as I possibly can each session to the point where I've been making my little herbal medicine so that I can burn more energy and gather more. Yes, you can make them using, let me show you real fast. Let me see, let me see. Normally you can gather like, if you're lucky and you have a gathering map for it, you can gather 25, at least 25 per four hours, I guess. Because, you know, the day and night cycle, you can only find them at night. And then if you do your dailies every day, you can go ahead and, and make herbal medicine at least once a day. If you're lucky, you know, you get some good RNG, you have your map up, and there's no one else out there gathering, Can you can get enough. But going out there and gathering in bear, let me tell you, I spent four hours straight not taking a break, not having to stop and regen energy. Oh, I just realized... I'm missing something, but not having to, to stop or anything. It was just four hours of straight, pure gathering. It, it was amazing. I do highly recommend it. I was sitting at 2.1k gathering mastery. And like I said, I, I highly suggest it. Or going into pilgrims. Oh, man. I can only imagine. I burned up all of my alt energy out there and didn't pop one of the miraculous, but it's okay. One of these days, I'm gonna go out there with my shy and we're gonna test it out again, see how much you can make doing the mini game and your little herbal medicine. Never grinded gathering, experience in bear, apart from deer meat. Yeah, it's worth it. Especially if you have high enough energy to dump into it. At least for me, I was able to go ahead and get a complete gathering master level. I went from a uh, 25 to 26. Yeah, no, I haven't gotten anything from any of the boxes. I'm glad you did, though. I am so glad you were able to, to go ahead and, and get something from a box. The most I've gotten was 
stupid little little uh, commas blessings and secret book of the old moons. That's about it. I haven't gotten any of the the good drops or the the gear or anything like that. I've gotten a maid once. Does that count? Got to check my weight soon. I'm not sure what that's looking. Like. Oh, I'm over here like panicked about my weight, and I'm not even hitting 10k meat yet. We're halfway through 10k. I did get a Garmi's heart from actual Garmi. That's the best luck that I've had. Come on, where's that mini game? I'm thinking when I hit maybe 60, 60 energy should do. I'll go ahead and pop my potion. That should give me back all of my complete energy and I'm not going to waste any. <laughs> and then with all of my buffs and everything active, that should give me around 41 to 44 energy back every three minutes. How much is this going to make me? I'm going to get a rough estimate once we hit an hour. We got 10 minutes until we hit an hour, and I can go ahead and check to see how much this will make. I'm going to throw everything into, well, I'm going to throw the meat into the central and list, not list it, but do a little preview. Yeah, we'll do a preview of how much it'll make. Like I said, I might use it for cooking. I need some more Valencia meals. But at the same time, if the money is a lot better, or if the money is is really good, I might just go ahead and sell it right there. We are almost at 10k lion meat. If we would have gotten luckier on the drops, I probably would have gotten that. There you guys go. And that's how much lion meat can make you an hour gathering with 2k mastery and the minigame active at the same time, but we're gonna continue going, extend this to two hours, see if I can't get luckier. I can possibly double that or get a little bit close to triple the amount. It's not too bad, especially for an hour time of work. The only downside is having to come out here. Exactly, that's why I was considering if it makes me a nice amount within the two hours, I'll go ahead and just sell the meat right out. I deal with a lot of the Beot County Guckbaps, and after Summer did a review on it, I wanted to go ahead and test it out, and I went ahead and leveled up an alt using just the rice and the Guckbaps. So I got another master cook ready, you know, just from the Land of the Morning Light. Right off the rip mini game. Oh. Right off the rip mini game. Let's go. Eh, nothing good. I'm failing at this. I need to close my inventory. <laughs> Why is that even a thing? <laughs> Why is that even a thing? <laughs> like, just automatically close out of the inventory. I'm lazy, like, be extra. Close out of my shit. Be rude with it. Be like, hey, there's a mini game. Pay attention. Well, at least they gave me another one make up for it. It would have been nice if I got some rare drops on that one. As a little, hey, you failed, but here? <laughs> Something like a little extra? They are slowly respawning. I'd like if they would either increase the spawn rate or the amount of lions that we can find out here. Nothing OP. Nothing like game breaking and life changing. Just a little easier. And see? That's exactly why I don't try to be a meta player. That's exactly why. I can't I can't do the whole having to, to be like efficient and I need to tap on a wall three times, turn around six times on a full moon on a third Friday of the sixth equinox on a twilight year. Like I can't I can't do all that. I just wanna go out, kill a lion or two, and wear its skin with pride. My buffs are starting to go ahead and expire, which is fine. We're collecting some lion meat. Going to show you guys how much you can make. So far, it is almost 300 mil per hour. I was lucky enough to find a buried trace, so it did increase how much I was able to make. I will find out after we get done this whole thing. I'm going to be doing all the hard, sharps, lion meat, all that. Okay, got to turn back around. I was not expecting to hit him, but you know what? That worked. That did well. Oh, 
I don't want the thicket. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'll take that though. If I was doing my forest path wagon, I would have accepted those weeds. We get enough of that during our farming anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. I know I'm going to make a lot of money. Thank you for the follow. You are amazing. But I know we're going to make a lot of money on the, the rare drops alone. Here's what we're looking at so far. 178 black gem fragments, 17 sharp, 60 hards, another 4k. So we're at a rough estimate of... <laughs> did I did I manage to get a good stock of oblivion flowers? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Our session is slowly coming to an end. So 16 minutes. Because you know, 10 minutes can make a difference when gathering. It really can. That 10 minute mark is where you could possibly get a good rare drop or, or just anything. I mean, of course you can find the mobs and, and kill them, obviously, but like if you can, I'm pretty sure that you can maybe possibly get lucky on a drop. Not me, obviously not me, but you might have better experience. I've been doing a lot of bartering the last couple of days to the point where I have no many, no more of the uh, trade vouchers and no more of the parlay left. I had to take a break from bartering today, which was unfortunate because I was in the process of leveling up my sailing. I've been tired of always just sitting there with my professional sailing costume and I can't ever use it. I've been trying to go ahead and, and bust that out over the weekend, which did not exactly work out too well. I think next time I'll probably go out and use a choice and focus light sun combination with my sailing. I'm doing really bad with this. Wow. Just fail. Just fail it. Wow. That was bad. <laughs> that was horrendous. That was that was really embarrassing. <laughs> like I, I swear I'm I'm usually not that bad. <laughs> but that one that one took the cake. Yeah, I'm telling the respawn rate. Okay, now they're respawning. I know I'm not crazy. I know there should have been some in this area. Okay, let's repair. Flawless. That's how I repair out in the areas where I know I'm going to get uh, attacked and, and things like that. I figured it's been, it's been a year maybe two years since i've done lion so i'm out here doing some lion gathering all right let's start heading back to valencia and seeing how much we made for this whole two hour gathering session we're a minute over but you know what i'll kill i'll kill this last little group so now that we are back here in valencia let's start listing everything that we were able to get Throw in those. I am not going to actually list. I am just going to show you guys the value of everything. Kaffirs aren't gonna make much. And I don't I don't think that's even worth listing. Alright, so starting off, Artisan Green Thumb minigame, two hours of lion meat hunting. We were able to gather 17,000 lion meat, which gets us a nice 695 million. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. Let me let me go ahead and break out my calculator on this one. I I, I think we're gonna need it. I think we just went ahead and, and made back a little bit of the money that I used on the the butcher knife here now for the black gym fragments and just i wanted to point out this is before taxes this is not the actual amount that you will get i am not taking into account of any of the taxes okay so please do not get angry down in any comments or it's a nice value before tax but for the black gym fragments we were able to find 220 and it will get us 121 mil uh to be honest with you no i'm I'm actually going to sell it. I'm going to sell it because I have more materials, way, way, way more materials. Like I would rather sell the lion meat. All right, the hard black crystal shards, I found 61. It will go ahead and make 98.8 .8 mil. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. We are almost at 1 billion. Uh, that's not too bad for two hours. Now for the sharps, we were able to find 19, which will make us a measly 38 mil. Not great, but considering we were able to make a lot of money on the lion meat alone, I think it was worth it. So let's go ahead and add that together. 38. 
for all of that today, we were able to make a nice grand total of 953 million before tax, before tax for you guys, you know, so don't, don't think it's all, all after selling anything. So there you guys have it. If you guys were confused on, yes, in two hours. So 200 and hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll go ahead and that's 470. 6.5 million every hour okay so if you guys were on the fence about whether or not you wanted to use the gathering mini game to go ahead and gather your lion meat as you can see i did not blow through all of my energy maybe maybe if i was able to turn in the the petals and exchange it for the sweet honey wine yeah 11 attempts let's find out like i was saying that luck it's not looking good. We got one brilliant. That's a cop. One feather. One feather. Uh, okay. I guess now that I'm turning these in, we'll go ahead and count these into the pricing too. Yeah, we'll do that. After turning in all of the petals, got one mythical feather for turning those in. So that's 40 mil. Okay, so turning in all of the... Petals, we got 14 sweet honey wine, which is another 22 mil. Hey, we done it. After all of that line hunting and turning in all of our petals, getting everything listed, you can make a nice 1 billion before taxes before taxes so that in mind you know it's not that bad i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like comment subscribe turn on all those notifications you know all that good stuff over there on youtube if you're over here on twitch be sure to follow comment if you guys go out and do some line gathering or if you just prefer to do the other meals like i was saying earlier with the beot county gut paps i don't really like using the lion meat for the valencia meals anymore i don't even make valencia meals anymore i've just settled with the county guck baps and i call it a day from there i know it's not exactly what everyone wants but i'm not really looking for the meta with all of that out of the way guys i shall see you guys tomorrow around the same time i'm gonna be waking up early so you guys won't have to worry about that catch me around then i will be posting a link to the uh stream tomorrow on my youtube so if you guys are following me over there and happen to see it be sure to click it jump in say hi hang out all that that good stuff and i'll see you guys tomorrow have a good night good day and enjoy your time in black desert this week night guys